These are Ryan Peavy's best Hallmark movie scenes. And for the first one, we have a scene where an adorable dog steals your heart away. So whenever you hear the name Ryan Peavy, you automatically blush. And why won't you? I mean, come on. With a face like that added with his boy next door charm, he's sure to sweep you off your feet. From thinking love is impossible to find, to falling in love with a doctor who returns to her family farm, we've picked Peavy's best scenes from a movie titled Matching Hearts. Julia Palmer, played by Taylor Cole is a professional matchmaker trying to convince Daniel, played by our very own Ryan Peavy, to sign up for their matchmaking services, Mr. Stay Single. Landing this newbie in town as a client would be a big feather in her cap and maybe her only chance to take the reins at the firm. While working with Daniel, who reluctantly agrees to be matched, Julia develops feelings for him, but because he's a client, she must stay professional and keep her feelings to herself while she helps him search for love. When she discovers that hers is the only heart he's after, she must decide if she's finally met her match. But the moment we're talking about is the big reveal, and Luna the dog gets a home. If you don't know what we're talking about, don't worry. Here's a quick recap. At the big Valentine's Day party, the matchmaking company hosts every year Daniel and Julia each admit they care for one another. And this is how their exchange went. What our score with your algorithm would be if you checked. 48%. It turns out though that was my profile from five years ago. I have a life I love and I was afraid if I added someone to it. I think we were both wrong. This vulnerable exchange hits the romantic moment mark because it reveals the bond between the two is deeper than just chemistry. Julia finally reveals this. 100%. 100% wrong. No, that was our score when I retook the questionnaire. So we're scared and let's do it anyway. But perhaps the night's best match comes when Julia finally adopts Luna. If that made you go, aww, well there are more moments like that coming your way. Like this one from Christmas at the Plaza. Well, it's the start of the Christmas season. Archivist slash historian Jessica Cooper has been hired by officious Amanda Clark of the Plaza Hotel in New York City to research and put together a display of the history of Christmas at the hotel, which opened in 1907. Jessica finds history comforting as she never had a sense of the future growing up. That's why she has no thought of what the future holds for her and her boyfriend of two years. Clinical biology PhD candidate Dennis Park, despite their plans to travel to Florida on Christmas Eve for her to meet his parents for the first time, Jessica contemplates quitting when she finds the research alone through the hotel's disorganized records could take a year in and of itself, with only three weeks to install the display. Helping her with the installation will be Nick Pirelli, who owns his own Christmas decorating business and who had been contracted by Amanda to handle all the Christmas decorations at the hotel this year. Unlike Jessica, Nick focuses in the future and doesn't dwell in the past. It isn't until she finds a hook for the display that Jessica believes she and Nick can get the display completed and installed by that three-week deadline. In further research, Jessica discovers one hole that will not be tolerated by Amanda regardless of actual true history. That hole, which unknown, is kept as a secret by the hotel's long-serving chief bellman Reginald Brookwater. In working on this project, Jessica begins to understand the need to look to the future. She's wondering, stemming from a comment by her best friend Cassidy, if Dennis is that future or if a certain Christmas decorator is the one. But one of the best moments in this movie was when Jessica's character discovers this. I was just getting ready. Every year since 1907, the tree in the lobby of the plaza has had a different finial dabra. That's not the interesting part. Look at the picture on the table, the top one. See? No tree topper. Fascinating. She learns that the tree has had a tree topper every year except for that year. Why was there never one that year? And what happened to it? The mystery leads to a surprising twist as Jessica and Nate team up to figure out what went wrong. This movie takes an exciting twist, adding an element of mystery to a Christmas theme film. This movie is genuinely packed with a lot of elements, and so is this scene from the movie Harvest Love. Widowed doctor Luna Gilson is trying to balance her career as a general surgeon at Seattle West Hospital with being a single parent to an eight-year-old Andy, which is not usually successful. The job generally takes over, and even with that, she laments not really getting to know her patients, most of who she never gets to see again after their recovery. Andy, however, is the primary casualty as she is at work more often than at home. In the process, she misses those moments with Andy, who no longer tells her of the special events in his life. Regardless, she still would accept the promotion to senior consultant of general surgery at the hospital if offered the job. On the advice of her mother, her parents currently 
currently living in Cameroon, Luna decides to take some of her vacation time to take Andy to the family pear farm two hours away in Pineview so that she can reconnect with him. And despite a country trip not being Andy's idea of the perfect vacation, upon the retirement of the Gilsons' longtime farmhand, Farley Thompson, the Gilsons hired, on Farley's recommendation, Will Nash to take his place, a biologist from a farming background. Despite a bumpy start, both Luna and Andy, who had not been to the farm since he was a toddler, begin to find comfort in being in Pineville, farm life, and Will's company. As such, Luna has to think long and hard about her future if it includes Pineville and Will, especially if she's offered the senior consultant job. Although he too is falling for Luna, Will, who has been secretive to Luna about many things in his life, will have to decide if she fits into his very structured plan. Another factor is that Luna's parents decided to sell the farm, which Luna only learns after arriving in Pineview. Are you wondering what secrets Will is keeping from Luna? Well, here it is. Just kidding, we're not going to spoil anything for you, but we will reveal a moment from the movie that fans completely melt over. If you're a true fan, you know we're discussing the scene when they are harvesting the pear tree. So Will sneaks up to Luna, and this happens. You know you shouldn't sneak up on people when they're halfway up a ladder. Oh, I wasn't gonna let you fall. Let me show you. You need to lift and slightly twist. And if it's right, it should just land in your hand with the stem attached. Look at how the sparks fly between them. We're sure you would want to be in Luna's place right now. While Harvest Love gives a glimpse of love that is tender and pure, this next one is about two strangers who meet on what feels like the worst day of their lives, but things soon take a turn. In Two Tickets to Paradise, Hannah Holt, played by Ashley Williams, and Josh Wyatt, played by PV, have just set up at the altar and, as chance would have it, sit down next to each other in the park. Meeting each other is the morale boost they need to commit to taking their honeymoon vacations as they try to turn lemons into lemonade. Soon after they embark, they realize they have landed at the same honeymoon resort and keep crossing paths in a tropical paradise, which is quite fortunate. Joss introduces Hannah to his friend from the past, Alice, played by Mary Margaret Humes, who lives on the island and shares her wisdom with the heartbroken duo. Seeing the futility of fighting Fade, Hannah and Joss eventually join forces and help Lauren from one another to enjoy their vacations. But the best moment is when Hannah and Josh walk along the sea. People. When Josh sees Hannah's list, this is how that interaction went. Let me see this list. Whoa, this is comprehensive. Kayaking at sunrise. Huh? It seems fun, right? You maybe go with me? What? Well, yeah, sure, why not? This trip hasn't exactly been easy. Both of our lives just got thrown a major curveball. But during their interaction, Hannah noticed something, and this is what she discovered. Are you doing that on purpose? Like doing what on purpose? This thing with your eyes. Do you know you do that? No. It's the sun. How cute was that interaction? Thanks to their situation, they understand each other, and for the first time in the movie, Hannah sees Joss in a different light. While this movie was about new bonds and relationships, this next one is about dealing with issues that have been locked up in the closet for years. But before we start revealing the best scene yet, why don't you give us a like and share this video with other Ryan PB fans? We're sure they would appreciate your effort, and do subscribe to our channel for we've got lots more coming your way. With that done, let's go on to a movie where almost every other other woman fell for Ryan Peavy's charm. In the movie Don't Go Breaking My Heart, Miranda, played by Italia Ricci, runs a successful breakup bootcamp program that helps the brokenhearted heal and move on with their lives and relationships. Journalist Ben, played by our very own Ryan Peavy, is part of her latest group, but only has morale support for his sister. At first, he scoffs at the idea of her bootcamp, but Miranda is determined to get through to him. As the two spend more time together, they both have to face issues long buried, but their burgeoning relationship is threatened when Ben Ben's secret comes to light. With a promotion on the line, Ben's boss asks him to go undercover and write an expose on Miranda and her program. But the scene that we're gushing about is when Ben and Miranda overlook the city lights. Finally, Miranda opens up about her past that she was so secretive about. Maybe she's finally beginning to trust him. And this is how their interaction went. Boot camp was my rebound. After Dex left, I threw myself into it and it worked. Yeah, but your programs help so many people let go. What's next? <laughs> It's okay to just stop, Miranda. You don't have to do anything right now except be here. 
with me. Isn't that so adorable? It's oozing with cuteness. That's enough for us to say. Don't go breaking my heart. But wait, as usual, we save the best for last. And here we are with unleashing Mr. Darcy. Lizzie, in this scenario, is a 30-year-old DC teacher, Elizabeth Scott, played by Cindy Bisbee. After finding herself an example by one of the wealthy parents at her private school, she's forced to reinvent her life when she loses her job. At one of the high-end dog show events where she shows her spaniel bliss, Lizzie meets our man Donovan Darcy, played by Ryan Peavy, of course. Proud and far as she can see, arrogant, the wealthy Donovan's life seems to be one party after another. Yet Lizzie is still intrigued by him. Lizzie's frustrations and curiosity grow when she winds up living right across the street from him, thanks to her new job. As the pair continue running into one another socially and professionally, their witty banter and arguments help ignite sparks of romance between them. So the best moment was when they met at the office when a little birdie told Elizabeth to pick up a dog at the same exact time when Mr. Darcy was coming into the office. And this is how that interaction went. I wanted to apologize about what I said the other day. You imagine I don't work to count money. It takes days to get to a million. By the time you do, you're so exhausted, you lose count. You gotta start all over again. It's grueling work. You know, sometimes you're almost charming. You sure can't get over that now, can you? But hey, did you miss the puppies in the scene? Why don't you just go ahead and watch the movie all over again? And meanwhile, we are signing off to get more amazing content for you. So which is your favorite Ryan PV scene? Let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, thanks for watching everyone.